I'm glad that some of you guys are watching this video because I'm about to give you some really great hints on how to get ahead of this game. Now, first let's talk about some of the changes that are going to be done to the Battle Mage with the Resistance Reorganization Patch. Oh god! Before we get started though, let's add some color to this painting. I SEE IT COLOR! <laughs> Much better. Now let's get started with the Battle Mage. One of the very first things that the Resistance Reorganization Patch changes about the Battle Mage is his attack speed and his power. But I'm not here to talk to you guys about his power or his attack speed. I'm actually here to talk to you guys about a skill that he already has right now. It's called Cyclone. Pretty much what Cyclone is, is he transforms into a tornado, which you can control left to right on the map, dishing out damage to any monster that gets close to you. Now after the Resistance Reorganization Patch, this move gets a buff. So long as you keep holding down the button that is associated with this move, you continue to spin in one spot, causing a ton of damage at a really fast rate to any monster that gets close. But that's not all. This move also vacuums in monsters that get too close to you, so they'll just get sucked right up in into your tornado. Now this is a really amazing move and I can't wait to see how it looks or how it feels when it actually comes out. Now I'm moving on to the mechanics. Alright, so the mechanics at 120 get a Magnum. The Magnum is a special bullet for mechanics that has hidden potential, so it pretty much acts like a shield for a warrior. But this is the first bullet, to my knowledge, that could contain hidden potential, meaning that your mechanic is about to get a really big boost in strength, which is freaking awesome. If you, I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, yeah. If you like big numbers like some people, then yeah, enjoy, enjoy the really high damage. Moving on to Wild Hunters. Wild Hunters get a boost in power, accuracy, and avoidability, just like all the other guys. Except, there's one special thing that the Wild Hunters get. Their move, Blind, now affects bosses, so you can affect me. Ah. Now some of you guys might be asking, hey Brad, should I wait to the Resistance Reorganization Patch to make my Resistance character, or can I just make one right now? I can't freaking wait. Do both. There's going to be several events that you can take advantage of during the Resistance Reorganization Patch. And one of them is, if you already have a character on Naples Story that's at least level 30, and you've had your account before this patch, you're going to get a free coupon that's going to expand your character slot creations, and right off the bat, they're going to give you a level 30 Resistance character. There's also another event in game that when you create a newly created resistance character, Wild Hunter, Battle Mage, or Mechanic, you get two special prizes. One being a Meso Mysterious Bag, or a Mysterious Meso Bag, and the other one, a 30 day baby golden tiger pet. Now the 30, 30 day baby golden tiger pet is one of our least worries. What I want to focus on is the mysterious meso bag. Now during this event, when you double click this bag, there is a chance that this bag can contain from 1 million mesos to 1 billion mesos. You guys can become billionaires almost in one event. So I recommend you guys making several different accounts before this patch comes out so that way you can make several different resistance characters and see if you can get lucky at becoming a billionaire. I will probably try doing this and I will post up a video and see how much mesos I can actually get from this one event. Well guys, those are all the tips I can fit into this video. Now I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go away. Okay. All right. Peace. Yo. Or see ya. Bye.